Okay, we're going to show you now how to install anchor bolts. And just so you understand what an anchor bolt is, it's, uh, it's what holds the house, the structure of the house, wooden part, to the concrete foundation. They can be put inside concrete walls or they can be put inside concrete blocks, which is what we're doing here. Uh, and, and you'll see that inside the hole is, the center of the hole is hollowed out. And uh, so what we'll be doing is putting concrete inside the hole and putting the, the anchor bolt down inside. And uh, once the concrete's in there and it uh, give it time to solidify, and then you've got a firm bolt to anchor down your home. So uh, purchasing these, you'll see that they uh, they come in a bag. Um, I think you can buy them individually. I always buy a, a bag of them. It makes more uh, sense to when you're doing a project that you go ahead and buy them by the bag. And as you can see here, uh, we got these at Lowe's. They were 15 bucks for 10. It says one half inch by 10. So they're uh, 10 pieces, 10 inches long, and they're half inch bolts. And as you can see, they come with the nut and the washer, which helps a lot. Uh, they're all ready to go. And so they'll be uh, very easy to install that way. So as you're figuring out how many anchor bolts you need, uh, basically what you need to understand is the, the basic rules for uh, spacing them. And the, the rule that I've been taught of have uh, understood is it always within 12 inches of each end of a wall and uh, no more than six feet apart and so like here we have a short span we have a crawl space door and then the rest of the span this total span is is 16 feet and so what we're gonna do uh, we're we made a, a little bit of an error here and, and filled two previously with concrete and, and so what we're going to do is we're going to end the sill plate here, which a sill plate is your, uh, the, it's, it's this lumber here, as you can see, already attached to uh, our cabin, which we will install. Uh, it's, uh, this is a before we had the idea of putting a block foundation, and now that we're going to build onto this and install a block foundation, you put the sill plate down, uh, before you construct, you construct on top of it. And so, uh, this here is 16 foot span. We got this crawl space door. So we're going to put, uh, we're going to end our sill here, the sill plate, which is your, uh, in this case will be a 2 by 8 treated. You want to use treated because it's close to masonry, it's close to the ground, it can and receive um, uh, moisture. And so uh, you want to treat it so it won't rot out. So what we're going to do is, since we're going to end it here, um, you got about eight inches to the center, so the twelve inches is going. It's going to be fine to put your j uh, anchor bolt here. So we're going to put our first one here, and since this is an end, we're going to put one here. And then same here, we got uh, one here at the very end. We got one down there at the very end, and then we're going to put one in the middle. Since it's more than six feet from from end to end. For stability purposes, since the rule is 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 no no le uh, no more than six feet apart, and then you want to put uh, one in the middle for stability. So that's what we're going to focus on right now is getting our concrete mixed up and getting these anchor bolts installed. Okay, Linda, the builder, has mixed up some quickcrete, and what we've used is just your regular old sackcrete or you get the quickcrete brand. This is Lowe's. Sacrete, 80 pounds, 80 pound bag, and and uh, it's the high strength. It's perfect for this. I'm trying to remember what the psi is. I think it's 4,000. Yeah, here it says 4,000 psi. So that's that's great for your foundation. You got your concrete blocks as your stability, and so she's going to put this down. She so got two levels of blocks. You're filling up, and you kind of need to shake it down in there. Once you get it down in, you can use a J-bolt to not much light. You can't really see down in there, but 
once she gets that filled up, she'll level it off, kind of like we did this one here, and get ready for a J-bolt. She's nearing the top here to get all filled in. Notice she's got a, a glove that's kind of uh, rubber coated on one side. Those are great. They're cheap. You can buy them in three packs or whatever. And I think these we got like for three for like four dollars or something like that. And uh, you can find them all over the place. Walmart, Menards, Lowe's, Home Depot. I think we have a place called Harbor Freight. If you've ever heard of them, if you got one in your area, Harbor Freight has cheap stuff. And, and uh, they're disposable anyway, so once they're worn out, you just throw them away and you got another pair because you got a free pack. So uh, those work really good. You don't want to touch this stuff with your bare hands. I know some people do and don't really care, but you know what? It makes for a real ugly, freaky feeling. The what what the concrete and masonry or anything like that will dry out your hands, your skin, makes them feel really funky, really weird. And so it's better just to wear some cheap gloves like that. They they. Uh, uh, work a lot better you know, she's getting it wrapped up here and and what she'll do is just uh, she'll level it off with the trowel and and flatten it out and, and that works pretty good throw down a little more there it's got a little extra just throw it down in the hole next to it it's no big deal she does good work okay Yeah, that works really nice. We use the trowel, just flattens it out. So now she can take the J bolt and uh, stick it right down in the center. And what we use is just a we grabbed another uh, two by lumber, just a chunk of two by eight that it's going to be exactly like what we used before. And as you can see here. We dialed this down about halfway, so if you see where the threads are, you can, uh, or the work is there, I'm sorry, you see where the threads are, we dialed this down where the top of it's about halfway down, and that way you just push it down to the washer, where the washer is uh, against your, your nut, and you push it down until it's there. And you're just going to have to wiggle it in there, and then drive it down with the, the board. Okay, so what we've done is we grabbed a hammer and I drove it down a little bit farther. Got to get it right even with that board because that's going to resemble your sill plate. And so we're going to leave that board there and then uh, and put uh, the concrete in. Just kind of got to pack it in there. Keeps your bolts up straight. And then she can fill it with more concrete. The little uh, measurement board, we call it, or pattern board, used to help get your depth for your bolt is perfect. It also helps hold the washer up because that washer is a pain. You can see she's got her hand on it there, try to keep it up out of the concrete while she's leveling around it, packing it down. That's pretty much ready. She just wants to make sure she's got enough there to make it level. Level across the top, pack it in good and tight. Got any extra, just scrape it off into the hole next to it. And what we're going to do on the next batch of concrete, we're going to make it a little wetter. We're going to add a little more water to it, and that'll uh, help the J-bolt, not J-bolt. Forgive me, that that's a, an old error that uh, I heard from somebody else. It's, it's kind of a habit. It's hard to um, quit calling them J-bolts. They're not J-bolts, they're anchor bolts. They're not even shaped like a J. They're shaped like an L. <laughs> so if you... Go in and ask for a J-bolt, they're going to take you to the hardware section and they're going to show you something that's about three inches long and it's about a quarter inch shaft and it's not anything like what you want. 
what you want is an anchor bolt and they're in the masonry section. You're going to find them back where the the uh, masonry materials are. You might find them in the hardware section. Uh, there's not a, a uh, problem with that. That's where the store keeps them. In fact, I think at Lowe's, that's where they are. I think they're in the hardware down on the floor in the big boxes in the, in the plastic bags. So, okay, we're going to mix up some more uh, concrete, and we're going to make it a little wetter this time. Maybe those J-bolts will... Uh, I'm sorry, here I go again. My bad habits. Those anchor bolts will go in a little easier. But as you can see, this one is ready. Okay, we got another bag of the sacrete mixed up and made it a little wetter this time. And uh, it's, you, Typically, when you mix this stuff, you're supposed to put in about three-quarters of a gallon of water per bag. And I guess that you know it, it's going to solidify. Uh, no matter how much water you put in it, eventually the water is going to drain or evaporate out. Um, but I, I, I think to make the optimum strength, uh, that three-quarter gallon of water is is appropriate. Uh, but but we're putting these anchor bolts inside. We wanted to make it a little wetter so they go down a little easier. We had to hammer that one in, and in my experience, it's usually not that difficult. It's also because it's gravel mix. You're you're driving. A bolt down through uh, basically gravel is kind of like you know what I'm you know, on the floor here you know it's not easy to push something through gravel and so that's part of it but a little hammer and a little block of wood to, you know it all it'll go down and so uh, now on the end here for stability uh, we're, we're putting it in both sides we're, we're putting the um, the anchor bolt here but we're still going to put concrete all the way in uh, for more stability in the wall and that's basically because we've got an opening here and the, your house is going to be sitting on top of that, you know, the crawl space opening. And so we want to make sure we got plenty of uh, strength in our wall. A lot of people, when they build these uh, uh, block concrete block walls, they put concrete in every hole. And there is absolutely nothing wrong with that. You're spending a little more money. And it would definitely be necessary if you're building a pretty big house. You know, I, this is a 16 by uh, 16 cabin and we've got uh, an 8 foot extension onto the 16 foot, 16 by 8 extension and it's just not that big and so I'm very comfortable with the fact that uh, we're just going to put it in where the, where the anchor bolts go in and on the corners, we, we, we filled in the corners too so she's got that one leveled off and uh, I'm going to leave that one full, and then we're going to fill this one in and put the anchor bolt. Hey, you might notice I, I got a little piece of reed right here. I'm, I stuck in the hole, and we're going to use it to just kind of jog the, the gravel mix down inside it and uh, make sure it goes all the way in. Uh, we don't want any uh, air pockets or any uh, uh, gaps in our concrete. And, and we don't see too well inside there because it's so dark. But uh, um, you might notice uh, if you ever watch a video of somebody pouring a concrete wall, where they got forms up and they're uh, uh, they're pouring concrete down the middle. And they got it all rebarred in, and they stick this uh, device. It's a vibrating rod down in that vibrates the concrete, and that's pretty much the same purpose here, is it takes out any any air pockets that uh, might develop uh, within your gaps within your concrete that packs it down. And so that's really all we're doing here is with this piece of rebar is is uh, eliminating those holes. And as you can see this time our concrete is a lot wetter and I have a feeling our J-bolt, excuse me, habit, anchor bolt is going to go in a lot better this time. I know we've received some comments about me doing the filming and, and Linda doing the work, and uh, well, you know, we we have our reasons sometimes for these things. I'm not a slave driver. I don't make women do all the work. I had a uh, couple of surgeries, and I'm not supposed to lift anything. I'm not probably not even supposed to be lifting this rebar. And so Linda, being the trooper that she is, is uh, is so we don't get behind in our schedule, jumping in and doing the work. I can't tell her no. She's strong willed. Okay. Alright, so looks like we got that one 
ready for the anchor bolt. So uh, I'm going to clean off the whole thing here. Any dry concrete. Just make it flat. And uh, ready to set, set the uh, pattern board down here for our depth. I'm going to lay it right across. And see this time if that uh, cable doesn't, uh, excuse me, anchor bolt. If I don't ever get that right, you guys are just going to have to realize that nobody's perfect. I only say things correctly. This isn't a, a edited TV production. We're just uh, making a little YouTube video to help people out. So it looks like, see how nice that went down in and smooth? She laid that in there perfect. A little trowel out, level it off. She got it in there perfectly straight and level. Absolutely. So there we are ready. Fantastic.